And I want you to look at these walls. It looks like somebody just came in here with a big ass bulldozer and just carved it. Now I gotta watch this shit because last year there was all kinds of runoff ruts. A tree coming down. The other thing is, Mark's got a 15 tooth front sprocket, so he's got get up and go. I've got top end. I think this is the one I did uh, two KLR sailing on dirt or something last year. But I shot that with that cheap ass camera, my $40 one, and it didn't come out worth a damn. Just blurry and stuff, but I posted it. <laughs> he already raced his ass to the end. <laughs> He's a dick, <laughs> but he's cool. And this is where it goes back to gravel. And when you got dirt this close, nobody plays in the gravel. <laughs> That's 50. Right leg down, back up. Right leg out, back up. And I gotta make sure them kids ain't coming back up here. I'm too much of a sissy, I guess. No, I'm just cautious. Okay, we're gonna go right leg out, and then we're gonna go back, now we're gonna go left leg out, just in case. He ain't in his ass. You just can't beat this shit. This is beautiful. <laughs> he left me a smoke trail. Gee, I wonder if he's wiped out down here. No fucking way. I gotta get them other mounts for the GoPro so I can show the behind of you. Skidding, skidding. I had it locked up before he came around the corner because I was expecting that. So you do what you used to do, pump on the brake. But yeah, I guarantee you, you don't want to hit these walls. This is hard packed dirt. It's 
kind of like hard packed snow, truthfully. Because there's nothing really for my tires to bite, none for his either. That's why I don't understand why he doesn't ride in the snow. But I don't think I'll ever get him converted into the Moto Vlog scene. It'd be really cool because I'm telling you, he can do some shit. I like to follow him and watch him because he does some shit that I'm still trying to figure out. You know, he's right up on my ass. One more pass, and then I think it's time to head home. He's done some carburetor mods. He runs Dunlop 606 tires. I run TKC 80s that are a little more street oriented. He'll run those D606s that are more dirt oriented. It's like mine are 60 40 street. His are like 40 60 street. So that means his are 60% for dirt. But he goes through he goes through tires. He goes through a set every season. So but his tires are cheaper too. They're a hell of a lot cheaper than mine. He also told me one time, he said, yeah, you can get them, you can get the D606s because we were talking about them. He says, but if you let them sit all winter, they go to shit. So, I don't know. I, I think I'll just stay with the Continental TKC 80s. Because right now I don't have a need for more dirt. If I want to go more dirt, I think I'm going to have to get a smaller bike, smaller and lighter. But I want my Road King first. No, I'm done, dude. I'm done. I'm going to drink a beer, turn on my GPS, and head back. I'm weak like that on work days. Follow this, this road back the way we came. You get to that house on that side of the road.